Hello Kimo friends and welcome to this new video. So today I want to share with you three simple advices about learning or better how to keep learning during the entirety of uh, your Hima journey, your Hima adventure, let's say. So these advices sound and actually are pretty obvious as many correct things in life tend to feel like. But I would advise you to hear them and think about them deeply because I needed years to being aware of how important these concepts uh, actually are. So the first really important thing you have to do to constantly learn is uh, being ready to hear over and over again the things that you think you already know. Now this may seem stupid in a sense, right? Because uh, if you already know something, why you should hear it again and again? But actually, actually that's, that's the problem and that's the solution. So sometimes you already know something, but other times you think you know something. And uh, this is funny because it's completely different. And sometimes you just start being aware of some concept, be it a technique, a tactic, uh, a way of behaving during a tournament, a fight, or whatever, um, you start being aware of it just in a split of second, maybe the 100th time you hear the same advice, because something is happening during that day, which maybe opened up your mind or whatever. Or simply, while hearing the same thing over and over again and don't try to skip this discussion in some smart way to think about, to actually talk about something that you consider more important or whatever, you end up discovering that the person which is talking in front of you, which maybe is different but than whatever other person that says the same thing, but is saying the same thing that you think you know, maybe the discussion end up going in another direction and you end up discovering something new. And uh, actually this is a really important thing. So being ready to hear something that you think you already know or that you already know is really, really important. Because fencing, HEMA, uh, generally speaking fighting, it's based on uh, relatively simple concepts. But there are so many of them which we keep losing focus of them and uh, sometimes it's really hard to put them in the correct place in every simple situation. So it will happen that you will end up hearing a lot of times the same advices or similar advices or talking about the same concepts like uh, time, uh, distance management, uh, whatever. But every time you hear about them it may be slightly different or it may be the same but it end up leaning toward another direction, a new direction. So that's why it is important to hear every time whatever people have to say about something that you think you already know. Now the second advice is looking at people. Now again another obvious thing, right? But there are two different ways of looking at something. One is for let's say interest or let's say pleasure so watch, watching as something which is entertaining. The other is for, let's say, really deep interest in finding out uh, informations. Now, this is the way in which you should look at people every time they do something uh, which is HEMA related, fencing related around you. So if, they, if someone is teaching, is, if someone is training, um, if someone is having a class. It doesn't matter even the level, actually. Because sometimes you can learn things in this way from really experienced people, and other times you can learn something from new buys. From really, really experienced people, I don't even need, of course, to explain why. But from new buys, you may end up learning something which you consider, let's say, impossible to do, because it's out of your logic, but uh, you see it work in reality from someone which never, uh, let's say, fenced before or just has some 
weeks of experience and uh, by watching this kind of thing you just can rub this information and maybe use it in an even better way, in some more organized way. Be it a tactics, um, a technique or whatever. They can just give you an inspiration. Maybe they are doing it because of, uh, let's say, instinct. And uh, then you can uh, learn from them the, this thing and they use it in an even better way, fun enough. So looking, watching people, looking at people, practicing, uh, sparring, uh, even if they make a lot of doubles, you don't have to stay there and watch them and think maybe oh my god, what, what a terrible thing that guy, that guy is doing, or what a terrible action it is, oh my god, so much doubles, or whatever. In the middle of everything, there is always something interesting to see, every single time. The last advice is uh, try to always keep in consideration that if something bothers you, it may be because it is right and not because it is wrong. Now, these situation happens in the life of every single human being at some point uh, and the uh, chance is that it happens multiple times at some point someone will say i will tell you some kind of truth which will put in doubt every single uh, moment of your practice of uh, your training or whatever, maybe it put in up to years of work, months of work. And then at that point, you have to strive to consider what you ended up hearing, try to evaluate everything, and uh, try to not convince yourself with dogmas, but try to be analytic and try to understand if you are bothered because uh, that person said the truth or simply because it has been offensive or whatever. Now, actually from the outside maybe this thing is simple, from the inside it is not. It's really hard to change idea uh, even for the good if we have to do it, um, let's say, putting in doubt the work of a lot of as I said before, months, years, or whatever. But it happens. And if you are ready for that moment, if you always strive to be ready for that moment, maybe when it will happen, you will need even lesser time to reconsider what you do, which saves you uh, time, actually, and maybe even more problems in the future. Um, if you are ready for it, you will uh, maybe uh, end up Mm, let's say solving this uh, situation, solving the problem, uh, which is uh, maybe you <laughs> or not, it depends from the situation, but uh, and uh, you will be able to uh, progress forward with your learning. So uh, I experienced all these things which I mentioned to you, all this advice comes from my, my understanding of uh, the practice, my experience, uh, in all these years of practice, um, I had to put in doubt a lot of things, I have to progress forward, I have to change idea radically, I have to restart from the beginning many times, and uh, in the end uh, it worked out, more or less, so uh, I am doing something which I consider, um, let's say, good enough, which uh, it's a good enough place to uh, be and uh, progress forward. Uh, and so this is my advice for you today. These are my advices for you today. So I hope you will find them useful. Remember to uh, consider joining my Patreon community if you want to support me and this channel. I would really appreciate it because like, uh, it's not super easy to be constant in this kind of work, especially now that I keep having more and more uh, um, activities to do in relation to fencing. So. Um, I try to be constant in making videos, uh, I will always uh, put material on YouTube and I will keep going uh, as much as possible, I will keep working but um, receiving some aid is always beneficial 
for these kind of things. So, as always, thanks for watching and, uh, well, see you next time.